That's where we blew up. Ah, uh, ship, we miss you. We'll come see you soon. Do some farming. I want to get. I want to try to make some salted meat and some a bunch of water and maybe a bunch of bandages. I figure I may as well record it. Someone will be like, "Oh, he didn't. He didn't record it." The five people that watch my videos and bless you, bless all of them. Certainly appreciate that. Ah, oh, but we'll have to go check out the ship at some point. Okay, so we got a new radio message. Our rescue blew up. Do we have we have tree. Ah, yes. Going in here, and nothing bad will happen. Let's see what? Oh yeah, we gotta talk to the management. Son of a bitch, blow up my ride. I'm gonna go whoop somebody's ass. That's what we're gonna do. Now we got power. Yeah, we got power. We're infected with something. It's very cool in here. I like it. Hello? Or nothing of consequence. You cannot be scanned. Do I have room? I have a little bit of room. ¿Qué es esto? Unknown language. Attempting translation. Well. Discovered in... Uh, da, 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 it's not possible to translate any useful information. Our scans return some information on the device itself. Likely a solid-state computer, though there's no clear way to interface with it. On approach, it began producing a low-frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data patterns. Likely the alien species which designed this technology evolved or genetically selected sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast. Mental processing power required to perform this kind of telepathy would imply the designers were considerably more psychologically developed than the common human. Okay, well, that's... Oh, shit. That, that could have been unfortunate. Very green. Evergreen, almost Christmassy, if you will. Ah, <gasps> I see a thing. That in a second. Make sure there's nothing on those stairs. Might be a health pack, some ammo. Hello. ¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué es que an ion cube. This green mineral substance has no entry on the periodic table, naturally, and has unprecedented ability to store huge amounts of ionic energy. Likely grown artificially, suggests has been cut from something larger, equivalent ionic energy of 5 kilotons of TNT, would be released in a controlled manner, likely used as batteries, would require a substantial power source to be recharged. A valuable energy source. <laughs> well, well, I'd be foolish not to. Analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. Well, we've seen that the building is modular and can take on different shapes. Another cube. Uh, my trees. another ion cube. It's a very helpful little building, although a bit empty. Kind of feels like everything on this planet's dead. Well, except the animals. Although, there was a, was a Paul Anderson book, Trader Van Rin, Trader to the Stars, where the aliens were sentient and very intelligent, and they were hiding amongst the animals so that they wouldn't be horribly murdered by the humans. Really good short story. Please do. What do you got? Enforcement platform schematic. The data set appears to be a multidimensional schematic of some kind. By mapping the pattern to three dimensional space, it's possible to gather basic understanding of the internal workings. Uh, it's an ultra hard non reacted metal amalgam synthesized from off world materials. No indication that it can be damaged or destroyed by any means. 
powered by a separate self-sustaining power plant located elsewhere. Location is not listed, but there's evidence the designers intended to harness the planet's natural thermal energy. I think somewhere warm, since we've seen volcanic vents. Facility consists of the upper engineering section, where this schematic was found, and the control room, which is accessed via a security-sealed elevator shaft or a separate underwater moon pool. Control room in the lower section houses the only known way to interface with the facility. However, the schematic does not detail the operation procedure or installed security measure. Well... Every sentient, we'll say. Does nothing seem sentient? You know, we have animal life, a primitive war- an untamed world. Also, hey, Renz. Your Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Uh-huh. Well, just, just always think, what would Flynn and Arlene from the Doom novelization series do? Huh? They would jump into the glowing green thing. It's a very pretty Necron temple, though. Are you? Oh, force field control. Maybe since I already unlocked the outside one? Oh, this would be the moon pool. This could hold my Cyclops. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh. I wonder if I can see where we're at. Those are friendly. Hey! There's another one of those portal thingies. I mean, I think that's what that is. I think my sea moth can come down here. Oh god! Something's making horrible noises at me. The hell is that? We're not very far. Okay, we're just... I think that thing is teleporting. And just making ungodly noises when it does so. The hell with that. So, this place doesn't seem so bad. So, it's, we're not very far from the surface. the submarine. I don't think I'd want to try backing out of this bitch, though. Also, if you leave the submarine's engines on, you'll run out of power while you dick around somewhere. I read, I was reading about the submarine, because the last thing I want to do is, like, break it right away. But, uh, you can build a fabricator on it. It uses the stored powers. There are mods that make it more energy efficient. So we need a vehicle, uh, uh, vehicle modification thing, which we'll have to find, of course. Okay, it seems to react to my presence. I like a building like that. Building knows who boss is. Ooh, is it a little portal thingy? You want to be scanned? Oh, already scanned you. Hmm, I wonder if it goes to the one in the cave. Picture. They eat more trees. They're rotting? Ew, we shouldn't. It's bad. They've gone bad. Damn. Oh, and I can't drop them either. That's disappointing. Well, someone has to eat it. Fortunately, it has to be me. Throwing up Bulbo tree. All over the cockpit! Ooh, what's that? Oh, so you're just gonna be a cock tease now, is that it? A strong resemblance to human weaponry in form. This device must have been designed with a humanoid user in mind. Whether the aliens that built this structure were themselves humanoid or otherwise employed the use of humanoids, what is clear is that they considered defending this facility a necessary precaution. There's no obvious way to remove the rifle from the case. No, 
obvious way, you say. Stab it. Yeah, I'm guessing not. See, we could have had a Goss Flare and everything. Alder Pucky. Nibble farts. Don't do that. Do -do 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 -do. Ooh, a purple thing. Yo quiero. Gracias. I sure make a lot of frickin' noise. For wearing flippers. These are things I don't notice when I'm playing to have something on in the background. Ooh. Are you? You seem friendly. Doomsday device. <laughs> Scans indicate this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet along with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. Oh, you guys are just being nerds now. The floor lights up, too. That's lovely. I like this place. It's very homey. It's the most welcoming thing on the planet. Scans indicate the facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. Good thing I brought a thingamabobber. Bueno. See anything else gettable? Oh, for another ion cube, maybe. Huh? Alien detention facility brought to you by Monster Energy. Do the do. Yeah, we'll get to that. Don't think we won't. Energy core, huh? Tell me your secrets. Vice houses energy equivalent to 100 megaton nuclear detonation, which can be channeled through the facility and directed at vessels overhead. Or bent around the planet's gravitational pull to strike targets in orbit. Power is routed via the attached terminal, allowing for the device to be deactivated if necessary. Oh. It is currently operating without parameters, suggesting it will target any ship within range. We'll stop that. Hi. Well, shit. That wasn't very nice. Control panel is broadcasting a message. Uh -huh. Translation reads: Warning: Infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Self scan complete. Bacterial yeah. infection yeah. in your system is progressing, detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Yeah. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Yeah, that's not great. Background broadcast. Downloading summary to data bank. Intercepted background data regarding further alien facilities elsewhere on the planet. Disease research facility at 800 meters. A cave system with fossil record. Live specimen, buddy. Synthesis of antidote for highly infectious bacterium designated Cara. Thermal power facility at 1200 meters inside an extensive natural rock formation and area volcanic activity. And stuff we don't know about. Oh, well, shit. Although, presumably, if we find these other two things, maybe we'll find more about them. Okay, in the event of an outbreak, quarantine procedures will be automatically enforced with immediate effect. The quarantine enforcement platform will target all incoming and outgoing craft to prevent the spread of the infection off-world. Well, they're just a little too damn thorough for my liking. I could go home and take a Z-Pack and probably be fine in like three days. 
just a nice antibacterial antibiotic maybe put some uh, some fluconazole some antifungal just to be good you know good measure we've been playing with the mushrooms after all safe way down slow wait uh, wrong way bye We'll be back for you, don't worry. Hey, Fluff. Do, 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 do. I guess we're done here. I'll have to formally lodge our complaint with management next time. Ow. Bitch. Was this the way up? Is this the moon pool? Yes. Okay. Yeah, but game. I find a way to get me to go deeper into the thing. I appreciate the comments people posted on the first video. And yeah, that is. There's gonna be significant amounts of nope. Don't worry. Let's look at this real quick, too. Oh god. It's so loud. It's the other thing that helps playing this. Squeakers. I think the peepers squeak. So this is a big gateway. Well, where's... Oh, there's my stuff. It's looking at me, Ray. Should we scan it? We have full health and a bandage. And our ship is nearby. Let's go for it. Unless he's fucked off someone. Oh, there he is. Why aren't you a sassy bitch? that? Is that a door? No. Where'd he go? There he is. I get it. Ooh, no, no, no. Maybe not from head on. I'm sure it's fine. Hi! Hi, how you doing? Warper. Okay. Doesn't seem interested in me. Okay then. Yeah. Y you think about that, fucker. Let's go eat some bulbo trees and get the hell out of here. If we can do something with these ion cubes. I mean, I'm sure we'll need recipes or something. Oh yeah, there was another path I wanted to check out, too. Let's murder some trees. Good deal. Oh yeah, we should see what that was. Warper. An aggressive creature with the ability to teleport itself and others into space. No genetic crossover identified with indigenous life forms. Demonstrates no recognized defensive behavior. And a warping ability. So the thing on its head. Appears to hunt other life forms, but no digestive organs have been identified. Internal structure considerably more complex than other known organisms. 
unable to distinguish whether organic or artificial in nature. More research is necessary. There's little spider thingies. Plants. Tiger plants. Those ones that shoot us. I don't know what that is. That's interesting. Huh. Gel sacs. Edible. Low density renders it invaluable advanced construction material. Oh, you can make aerogel out of it. We get here. A propulsion cannon. Yeah, we did that. And nuclear reactors. Ah, uh, yes, we have gotten the space ick. That's why we're not able to turn the thing off that is blowing people up. So, uranium reactor rods. Do not attempt to overclock. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Something to look forward to. I want to I think I want to try messing with a bioreactor. I know you can't use any other power source for your cyclops. It has to be power cells, which are the uh the things we're using in the sea moth. Two batteries and a piece of rubber. I think there's anything else on this mountain. And then we'll go check out the our spaceship. Huh. This does seem to be a path. Lit up by those things. Hmm. Okay. Promising. Cave? It's cave. It's just another big portal thing. <laughs> Those cables are. Yay, we scanned the bird, finally. Oh, that's just... Just out here. Oh, I'm sure. There's a lot of places we haven't been, so I'm not too stressed over it, Jasio. We're just kind of faffing about. Uh, crawler in the dark. Oh, I guess it's not too dark. As long as I hang out here. That just means they'll be leaping at us from the darkness. I'll fuck off with you. Oh, mushrooms. Just another outdoors. Can I get to it? Yes, I can. Hey, moon. Another bulbo tree. Huh. Here's to just be a sightseeing mountain thing. Wait, there's a key up there. Just have to go get it. I see a limestone. Oh, that's a shale. I'll definitely take that. Piss ant. I'm gonna get real cross with you guys. I feel like Wayne and Letter Kenny. You know, I ever catch you hitting me, <laughs> you're gonna be in trouble. Yeah, now you're dead. Fuck. Diamonds. Lovely. Let's see another key. This is up here. Uh, probably just more trees. Oh, 
further up the mountain. Salt. What are we doing on space? Oh yeah, we got tons of space. Uh oh, can't see again. <laughs> I got stuck on the salt. Yeah, I need to catch up. I need to watch Little Kenny on uh, Hulu. That was a pretty cute idea. And a lot more mountain. Oh, gently. No. Huh? Oh. But not up here. This is a dead end. Does it go across? Looks like it's just back where I came. Where did I come? Oh, probably down there. For sure. Ooh, look at all the shale. Oh, gold. This is a different one. Been here. Yes, es though. Really? We'll get back to that. Making spooky noises by fuck. Well, let's see how it goes. What's the worst that could happen? We may have a cube. Oop. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Allons-y! Okay, but well, we're still on the surface. Oh, I can just I can just pick it up. Huh. What is that thing? Is it is it usable? Sky ray. Oh, it's a big herbivore. A speckled rattler. No. Also no. They're not edible. Oh, that was weird. I think it remembered it was dark. just outside. I know, right? This does not look like where we were. Like, I get that it's a portal, but I was, well, that's why I was looking at my uh, stuff, but I guess it had already changed by the time I started looking at it. Well, we're 2,000 meters away from Scooty Puff. That's impressive. Oh yeah, we're way... Where are we? Picking up multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. Okay. So if that's northeast, so we're way southwest of the ship. Can I get back up here if I go down there? Yes. There's a thing. 
Hang on a second. Huh. Guess not. Okay. <clears throat> Let's learn. It's a thistle tree. Can't scan those. The bulbos. Well, we won't starve. It's good to know. Let's head over there. Very least, we'll probably find some technology. Grub basket, eh? Uh, carnivorous. Oh, it's a fly pot. Ming plant. It is a tree. That's different. Uh, mushroom. Well, surely the island's not big enough to has its own predators. He said as he began to be stalked by a large panther-like creature. A fucking thing from Miyazmata. Worst case scenario, we probably have enough juice to get back to base with our sea glide. I can't get back to the portal. Which, I mean, I should be able to. There. Oh. Oh. Well, that's problematic. I'm on the wrong side of the river. A ravine, or whatever the hell it is. Huh? Okay, this seems okay. Hey, there's another one. Bank. I'm like a Skyrim horse. Suck it, Todd Howard. Fuck is that noise? Ooh. I'm gonna keep going up. But I see more stuff down there. Is this a crashed ship or are these structures? They kinda look like structures. I think you just get ambient noise from rocks crumbling. Stasis rifle? Hell yeah. Game is a bit of a mess. It's something I wouldn't mind doing, but I'm also not all that fussed either. I want to be the king of the world. Phew. Hey, look at all that. Bulkhead, huh? New blueprint acquired. Oh. Ooh, uh, water. 
I don't need water. Observatory. Lantern fruit? Yep. It's a fern. Unclear whether it's native or not. Lantern tree, eh? Uh, minimal nutrition and hydration value. Es edible in an emergency. Plant one. Wait, wait, wait. Hmm. Usually, when I do that, I get seeds. Ah. Oh. We found the tree prison. Art Torgal. I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here. Finding it hard to enjoy alone. Father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Marguerite and Father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. Ray of sunshine. Alright, well, let's head to the middle one. Get down there safely. Nonsense, Renzaku. That's that's your paranoia talking. They could just be Italians. <laughs> oh, HP. Mm, I don't know if I can easily get back up here. Go up to the other observatory thing. Nice of them to color code the path. Makes it a lot easier. I don't know if this is the way. Hey, sniper. Expected cave crawlers or something up here. Bentley? Oh, plant pots. Neat. Uh -huh. Oh, so we can grow stuff.
Chinese predators. They are edible. Highly adaptable. Staple of new colonies. That would be nice. Not have to worry about food that spoils. Buy water content food. Sure. How big are they? Well, that's tiny. Get quite a few of them. That's kind of decent food value. Cool. Already own all these things. Grassy voice log. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators. Fresh food. No building materials. Nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. Well, it's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight maider, but I've made my decision. You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking on it. Okay, so let's try and relatively safely get down to that other habitat. Oh. That's all right. I have to climb back up there. That's a helpful tip. It would have been more helpful <laughs> five minutes ago. <laughs> Maybe there's one in here. There's a cave crawler, that's for damn sure. More stasis rifle? Hell yeah. I hear you, you little bastard. Don't worry, I'm gonna get you. Yeah, fuck. Yeah. Bastard's trying to get me stuck. The different one is if this. Oh. I guess, oh, I already got it, though, right? I think I already got it. Yeah, I think I have. Huh? huh? Something. Oh, spotlight. Near blueprint acquired. Ah, oh, there's a big planner. A lot of stasis rifle fragments. My goodness. This place is rotten with them. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know the big room. Well, I typically try to scan everything, but... Marble melons. Are they rotting? Oh, uh, they are rotting. Huh? Ooh. My way in there. Huh? Huh? Oh, shit. I said, wait for the storm to pass. Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining stuck. <coughs> I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief. What? Do you know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, What's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're gonna be so hungry you start wondering what it tastes like, let him go deal with the plants. Son, go deal with the plants. Bart, Torgo, has disembarked the habitat. 
interfere with my family again, and when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. Do you understand me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. And no staying here, neither. This rain keeps falling, sooner or later this place will be buried. The only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. So, like, when you say outdoor, I can only do it, like, in this type of area? A battery. Lovely. Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Bart, and Mida, the cut price mercenary I commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had made a salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Maida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not gonna weaken her life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, oh, there we go. she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. <laughs> this planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible I know, until I know. the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months, or even years. We're listening to the crazy old, uh, Scottishman. Near blueprint acquired. I mean, I already have one. I have several of those. I'm rotten with purple tablets. What? <laughs> what is that thing? I don't know. I found it outside, in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. Uh, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, Chief. If it were going to crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. People? Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't going to find out by staying here. So... Finding the cave we got here from. Huh? Eh, whatever makes him happy. He could be a rutabaga if he feels like it. It's 2020 after all. I'm not here to judge. I'm going to, but it's not what I'm here to do. This seems promising. We should get about a hundred meters closer to the Scooty Puff. Huh? Yeah, yeah, piss off. Did you go away? I am trying to do stuff. <laughs> Lovely, a tree to hang myself with. <laughs> Whoop. Bentley. This feels sort of the right way. There were a bunch of these big-ass onion trees near the cave entrance. I know we could see the wreck of the Aurora, too. There's Scooty Puff. Okay, this is about the right distance. I mean, give or take almost 100 meters, though, so who knows. Cave? Cave! Ha! Oh no! It was there. 
Damn it. <laughs> it was showing me the uh, heads up. That's unfortunate. No cheating for me. Hmm. We may be hoofing it back to base. That's the same one we've already been at, yeah? I think I'm just on a different side. Yeah. This seems vaguely familiar. The cave over there. mushrooms in it. I'm gonna fall and bust my ass. Let's go over there. That feels good. Under the island? Hmm... I don't know if I'll be able to find the cave. We can always come back. Although there's clearly something down there, yeah. No, I am more interested with getting back. You can always come back. We we're super south of the uh of the wreck. Hey, that looks like a big fuck off cave. Big portal? Big portal hot dog. Found it. Oh. Well that's interesting. Hi, bug. Thanks. It's good to see you, too. Fuck. This is not convenient to get to. How much space we got left? Quite a bit, actually. Well, surely I can plant them even if they're rotten. Oh boy, more gold. Scooty Puff! Daddy's coming! See now in Skyrim I would just kinda of surf down this, but I don't I don't I don't feel great about that. <laughs> well, they are the uh Cliff Racer? Yeah, they are the Cliff Racer of this game. It's like, ha, I'm irritating and hard to hit, and I'm going to nibble your bum. Nibble, 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 nibble. Just, just, just down there nibbling my bum. Uh, I wonder if I can clear that. Huh? Nope, I cannot. It's okay. We, ha we have boo-boo patches. And now we're where we wanted to be. <laughs> I am not a cliff diver. Fortunately, the fall damage is, uh... Very generous. Very generous. Eh. Fucker. Well, I'm wearing a suit made of lead, so, I mean... Borderline indestructible. There's some bulbo tree. Nope. I cannot. Boo. Yay. I don't know, I kind of don't want to waste the power doing too much with the scoot. Yeah. 
I don't have a great way to make more power cells, and we don't need to go super deep yet. So I think I'm going to take the uh, Scooty Puff Jr. Head back to base. There's six of these. Okay, so that one's down to 75. There's supposed to be a upgrade maker thing in here somewhere. There it is. Okay. Oh. Wait, can I just make... Oh. I need whatever the hell those are. Benzene and polyaniline, huh? Right. Right. That's a shame. That would be good to know how to make. This is a safe enough place as anything is. All systems online. Oh, stop. Jesus. We're good. We're good. Everything's fine. We're next to anyway. Keepers. Oh, we're next to the kelp forest. Okay. So peaceful. So serene. Have I found that? I'm not familiar with this. That's something we can cut into. Okay. Well, we're in between Scooty Puff Sr. and the base. We'll definitely need to check that out. That looks like that could be something entertaining. That's a trash can. That's a grav trap. I think that's another grab trap. Okay, safe shallows. And more kelp forest. Why is it so murky here? Oh. Ha ha ha. Why is it so dark? Why aren't my headlights working? Yay, verily. Okay. Uh, let's put you somewhere safe. Uh huh. Battery. I'll keep that. Cool. Let's go make some fresh water. Uh, coral tube. Coral tube. There's one. Yep. Oh. Back here. I'm going to eat you. You done goofed, son. I've had a very long trip. And I do like eating boomerangs. There we go. We're ready to go. Hmm. 
Wait, that's not right. Oh! Oh, arrow gel. Make purple tablets. Computer chip, magnetite. Magnetite. Have I found that? No. I think I know where it is, though. Good to go there. Okay, um, are we empty enough to go check out the ship? Probably. Fire extinguisher. Uh, your charge is pretty shit, but we shouldn't... Actually, we shouldn't need you. Oh, but I can't put you up. Probably recharge the flashlight. Don't need you... Three, two, four. Oh, yeah, I need you. Um, got the laser cutter. Got plenty of water. Okay. I'll be right back, and then we'll head to the Aurora, and we'll go explore that. Okay, we're back. I forgot. I need to uh, go check the radio. I got a new message. It might be a life pod. We'll go check those after we sort out the, uh, uh, ship. Oh, free band-aids, too. Yeah, free band-aids. We still got, we still got a pretty good amount of room here, so that's kind of nice. Uh, is there anything I know I don't, not gonna need? I'm not gonna need the sea glide for now. That'll give us some more room to play with. So that's cool. Wait. I, didn't, I thought I fixed you. Are you busted? Weird. Swore I'd already done that. Whatever. What you got for me? Play partially translated broadcast. Nine new biological subjects designated. Sharing subject locations with other agents. Damn telemarketers. Scooty Puff away. All systems online. So it should be yeah. Southeast. That was a spooky noise. I'm noisy underwater tonight. Well, I mean, it's not like I had stopped assuming most things on the planet wanted to eat me. The hell? Textures are struggling. <laughs> thought that was the mushroom forest for a second. Well, yeah, well this is a Scooty Puff Jr. Hey Rev, how you doing bud? Bunch of titanium over here. Oh yeah, I kind of I remember watching you play this some.
Well, that's why the it's the Scooty Puff Senior. It even says so on the side of the ship. Nice ant shark. Piss ant. Nobody loves you. You noisy, gnashy bastard. Ooh, a box. I remember we didn't get all the boxes. Battery? Oh, more water. Also good, I guess. I mean, if I played Pop Goes the Weasel, it'd almost make the same sound as Scooty Puff does in Futurama. Something Rodriguez? I don't get it. But I've had a very long day, so bear with me. We both know it's just more gold. Housekeeping! I'm sure that's just the ship settling. Yeah, that's, that's all that is. Oh, there he is. Yeah, it's okay. He's fine. Yeah, we're good. No after Bender. Ah, oh, there we go. That's what I want. I'm sure the damn cave spiders have respawned. Yay! Gravity gun! seems stuck. Let him be stuck. I mean, bending is just, uh... Propulsing is just a primitive form of bending. This could be Rodriguez the propulsion cannon. Oh, right. It, if you fire it, you burn through power a lot faster than if you just drop the thing. Hey, speaking of, there's a battery. I did the wrong... No, don't pick it up. These fire extinguishers suck. There's water right there. You fucking Nancy. Oh. That or their fire animation sucks. One of the two. Alright, now my shit's in the wrong order again. Damn it. <laughs> Ain't that so much. Uh, that should be fine. I wonder if I can get over there. Platforming is a bit jank in this. No, I cannot. I cannot stand on that. Oh, that doesn't seem to be a doable thing. More batteries! Hello? Restuff? Uh, I think I know a code to something. stuff. No, not alien stuff at all. Uh, notes to self. Cargo bay. Uh, that's not cargo. Cargo is the other direction we didn't go. Hold it down. Uh, it's like having a dead butler.
That's neat. More batteries. The Aurora Black Box data. Okay, check that out when we're not drowning. Well, this room is very on fire. Huh. Is that all there is over here? Oh, there's a door. It's like you're standing in the water. How did you get burnt, you prick? This is neat. Well, they love that texture effect, don't they? Hey, we made it out. How are we? Ooh. Robots. Okay. Initiated slingshot maneuver around planet 4546B. High velocity and energy pulse detected on planet surface. Yeah, that sounds about right. Emergency distress signal sent to Altaran listening buoy. Impact detected. Life bod bays on starboard side compromised. Outgoing communication, compromised, emergency evacuation, 1 through 25 launched successfully, mash of impact, do, 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 do. human life signs detected over the long range, uh-huh, uh-huh, high priority terminal and captain quarters, uh, probably need to get in there. Okay. It's very much fire. Ron suit fragment, you say? Hmm. Yeah, it's okay. I sorted that out. Good job, computer. Hi. What are you? I am an Oscar Mayer wiener. And my baloney has a first name. Sounds profitable. Okay. Living quarters. Well, let's not go the fire way. Well, it sounds like a nice, sexy feminine, er, nice, uh, sexy elder god. So at least we got that going for us. Where's Bender at? Bender! Uh, four. Oh, come on, you bitch. Shit. Grab. Oh, whatever. Can't scan any of that. Okay. You are thirsty. Ew. 
Ah, band-aids. For all those boo-boos I'm covered in. Well, yeah, we need that. More boo-boos. What do we got? Baked potato, coleslaw, mac and cheese, garlic bread biscuit, chicken and pork, barbecue sliced beef, baked beans, ham and cheese. Frontiersman discount available. Checker specials. Aww. This place sounds comfy. Hmm? Oh. Wall shelves. Today's menu. Cottage pie or a nutrient block. Integrating new PDA data. Fruit and nuts will be the only dessert available for 39 weeks. <laughs> uh, good stuff. It's a very lived-in world. It's very, uh, very comfy. There's a bunch of food and water in here. Yeah. Eh. Nutrient blocks. Praise be. Praise my science. Lock doors. can make a bed now and put it in the hallway I have a duffel bag huh. sure Just refuse to eat the bugs, Renzaku. That's all you have to do. Just They tell you to eat the bugs, you tell them to get fucked. That's not a real mirror. You mean this small indie developer cheated when it comes to the most complicated thing you can possibly make in a game? Hmm. Locked doors. I think I've got one of these. Well, that's a cargo bay thing. Hmm. I don't need that. Well, piss. I didn't think you were the cargo bay. It's worth a shot, though. This one is very on fire. More prawn posters. Ah, here we go. Integrating new PDA data. <coughs> hmm? Oh, here we go. Listen, I know I don't have the right to make demands of you, but I need you to understand that I want to change our arrangement. I hear what you're saying, and I will try to respect it. How would you like to change it? I would like to reduce our contact hours. How much further can we do that? To zero. You're dumping me. I'm changing the terms of our relationship. How is it still a relationship if we don't see each other? It's a relationship of a kind. You have so many expectations. I feel you just want to spend more time with that dumb guy in his dumb robot suit. That's not a feeling. It's a judgment. 
and I feel hostility in what you're saying. Perhaps your jealousy is a sign that you need to take another look at your business model. Why can't you just be happy for me? I am happy for you, and I'm happy for all the guys in the prawn bay. I'm just not happy for me. This is why I want to change our arrangement. Very Waylon Utani future. I suggest you re-examine your business module. Or model. Sorry. Screwed that up. And fucked it all up. Can't have the book? Ooh. Poster. Band-Aids! I know, you, you got rink bunnies and... What would you call a, a mechanic hoochie? I might need to go get that other fire extinguisher. Holy crap, there's a lot. Oh, this is... Yeah. That doesn't seem openable. Yeah, that doesn't seem openable. I'm not gonna worry about that. Oh. Do I look in the, uh... Oh, just empty. We. Terra Arms pamphlet. Okay, charity. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I guess how to murder things. Well, that's not super useful. I was hoping to find code for that door. No. Go away, duffel bag. Nobody loves you. battery. Huh? Wait, hang on. If I... Bag is not empty. Cannot pick up. It's a bag. That's the whole point of it being a bag. Silly. Hmm. I can't remember where you find that code. Been in here, yeah. The captain's cabin. Hmm. Oh well. No sense crying about it. Did the canteen. I didn't see any other PDAs in here. Okay. And we need to find... Ah, there's a door over there. Past all this fire. Hey, radio transmission. Wunderbar. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, I thought that was locked. It's just busted. More water. 
More batteries? Hell yeah. Make a bunch of power cells. Sweet offer. Oh, cabin number one. Oh, cool. Well, we found that then. Aurora Auxiliary Mission Orders. Crew of the Mongolian vessel Degasi. Oh, find them. Uh huh. So we came to rescue them. <laughs> and then the sunbeam came to rescue us. <laughs> oh, I appreciate the madness inherent in this. That's pretty great. Okay. What's the code and what's the thing? You're telling me you've been on this rig in more than a year and never took a ride on the outside. Well, now you've only gone and gotten yourself a friend with the keys to a giant freaking robot suit. We well, plain got nothing to do till we get a star side to work on the gate. You want to taste the stars? You've only got to say. My spare prawn suit's got your name on it. You don't know what power feels like till you've crushed an asteroid with your bare, heavily mechanically augmented hands. Want to play catch with a passing meteor? Come by cabin number one, codes 1869. Huh? Well, there was a memo earlier that said there was a VR system on board. I thought it was like a theater or something. Maybe not. The little guy. Arcade Gorge toy. Why not? Baseball cap. No signal. Responsible autonomous relationships. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Oh, it's just that crazy lady with the check your business model. Uh, yeah. That's great. I was expecting it was just a toy and a hat. And whatever that is. Huh. Oh, and a double bed. Well, I guess that's something. Huzzah! Oh, my boo boos! Okay. Pretty straightforward. Let's see. Here we Probably should have hurt. Prawn Bay Locker Room. 
Boxes. More batteries. Scans of damage to the Aurora do not match any known offensive technologies. Yeah, I figured that out. Nothing in any of the boxes. That's been disappointing. Should be able to get all kinds of goodies. Uh, there's a repair kit. Seamoth Bay, you say? Seamoth Depth Module Kit Mark 1. You don't say. And Seamoth Fragments. Naturally. Two? I don't think two is quite enough to get one, but if for whatever reason you couldn't find them, and felt like swimming out here past the monster, VR Sweet Log. Spawning players on beach. Player 1 has been washed away by high tide. Player 2 has traded a coconut. Player 3 planted a coconut. Players are hungry. Player 3 has grown a coconut tree. Eaten a coconut. Traded a coconut. Has eaten a coconut. Still hungry. Coconut for a tent. Sleeping in the tent. Player 2 is cold. Player 2 has traded 30 credits for a musket. Player 3 has been shot twice in the head while winning. Sleeping. Player 2 wins. Player 2 has died from cold and starvation. <sighs> ah, humanity. What's that green thing? Oh, part of a sea moth. Never mind. Good deal. Uh, water. Okay. Drive room. That sounds like an important room. More fire. Sustained internal damage during collision. Do not attempt repair without appropriate qualifications. Go away. Okay, well, I've got some qualifications, and they didn't specify what for. Warning, local radiation at maximum tolerable level. Tolerable, you say? What was that? Ah, <gasps> Cyclops engine efficiency model. Shit, yeah. Okay. Good deal. Huh? Oh. Let's scan that. There we go. Oh, Jesus! Oh, God. Stop with the... Get, hit it. Hit it with a knife. Well, fuck that. Oh, there are lots of them. And they're coming down to get me. Ah, oh, they seem to be lured towards their little buddies. Except that one. Is that all of them? Nope. Oh, those are horrible. Well, that was a that was a thing. Oh God, there's another one. God, they hurt. They are 
kicking my ass. All the things to be murdered by. Little bitey worms. Good to see you're still on the case, computer. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. 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 Phew. This place is busted up. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Let's see another wormy thing. Is it gonna get me? Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Hey! Drive core breach sealed. Radiation levels decreasing. And when you say decreasing... Let's not. Let's go ahead and leave that on, just in case. If there's... Oh, I wonder if there's goodies in the other one. Well, that's fair. But it should be magically fixed, because I fixed it. Need binoculars. No, that looks empty. Yeah. A pox on your realism. Realism gave us the plague. Alright, extinguisher just in case. So we haven't been to the cargo bay yet. Batteries! God damn! <laughs> That's a lot of fucking batteries! All fully charged, too. That's great. Well, we're gonna need to swap out our repair kit and our flashlight. And... Hang on. What are, we, what are we gonna need? So we got a bunch of stuff. We need rubies for that. Don't care about purple tablet. Stasis rifle. We need magnetite and a computer chip, which is gold, table coral, and something else. Copper wire. Okay, that's fine. We got gold out the ass. Copper, not so much. Prawn suit. Lead, diamond. I think I have two diamonds. More plasteel. That's more lithium, which I think we have enough for that. I think we have some stalker teeth left. We don't have aerogel. Epic mech, epic mech suit, designed for navigating challenging environments on foot. Lovely. Okay, now we can make these, but we don't need to, because we, we have one of them. Exterior grow bed, artificial plant bed, suitable for use on land or underwater. Reactor. Composite plant pot. Oh, it's just titanium? Well, that's nice. Wall planter. These are all just decorative. They don't do anything. Happy charger. That would be nice. Alien containment, you say? Okay. I have to find some more stuff. Wait, that's not right. Cargo. Cargo is this way. 
I was like, wait a second. <laughs> there should be a path here somewhere. Food. Fire. Oh, PDA. Good lord. Just corporate stuff. Oh, goodness, excuse me. I am a sleepy bear. It's been a long day. Very on fire. The cargo bay is definitely very on fire. Seems like kind of a ripoff that there's not really much in here. Well, food is probably the least valuable thing I have right now. Oh, and that's more food anyway. Oh, we're on the other side of this. Neat. Restoration. Alright, so now we're up on the ceiling. We didn't get into the lab, did we? Do I have a code for the lab? Mm-hmm. It's not. Hmm. Well, we can't get in the captain's quarters anyway, so we'll have to come back for that, so... We'll check out stuff later. We got some good stuff, though. Now our Seamoth can go to 300 feet, and our Cyclops will be 300% more energy efficient. That's good shit. Probably go head out there and chuck that in. You could throw all this food and water in the Cyclops too, actually. Not a bad idea. Yeah. Okay, I can clear this one, can't I? Yeah, we're good. Well, Go, Scooty Puff! Oop. Jeez it!
Dumb Dare Star. Landed in area of significant alien activity. Encountered predators in the Leviathan class, highly aggressive. Spectroscope scanner assigned species designator, Reaper. One specimen attempted to swallow the life pod, doing extensive damage in the process. Only viable option is to make for the safety of the Aurora crash site. I have retrieved a data box with the creature decoy and enough resources to fabricate a couple of them. The swim's longer than the decoy lifetime, but it should just be enough to keep them busy. If you don't find me on board the ship, presume I miscalculated. So we have some useless creature decoys. <laughs> oh, first aid kit, you say? I'd be delighted. I think I can access the uh, upgrades. Yeah, here we go. Let's put you in there. Yep, very swimmy swims. Hey, now we can go deeper. Not going to, but we can. A whale? What are you doing out here? I saw a thing that said there are resource nodes on these guys sometimes. Ah, I think that's one of them. Sorry, I didn't mean to boop you. Oh. Yeah, he had a copper on him. a red field. Okay. Thought I heard spooky noises. I was getting concerned. The hell is that? Moon pool. Oh, I've already got that. Passing 100 meters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, blue thing. Oh, it's just an egg. What else we got out here? Anything good? Limestone and jellyfish. Not sure what you're talking about, Shaman. I didn't see anything fall. Or nothing should have fallen. Unless I dropped. No, I didn't drop it. Because I can. Wait! Oh, I did drop it! I hit the wrong button. Well, maybe we can go find it. Should have saved! It's okay, we'll find that life pod again, and we'll just go down from underneath it. Oh yeah, no, we totally did. I hit the wrong button. Because I should be able to go down to 300 meters, not 200. We have failed in a spectacular fashion. That's all right. I should have been paying better attention. Well, I think now that I've found it, worst case scenario, I'll be able to build my own. In theory, if it survived the fall, which sometimes things glitch, 
which would be down here. What's this? No. Not what I wanted, but it is a thing. gone down into the mushroom forest. I'll look around up here first. That's some easy to get shale. Iron. Because like when I dropped my mask, it was still reachable. Oh, fuck. I needed that. I needed that so bad. That helps us get into some areas a lot easier. Shit balls. Uh, just water. The uh, depth module for the sea, sea, the sea moth. The thing that lets me go down to 300 meters without being crushed to death. Be directly underneath the life pod. It's roughly where we were. Excuse me? So much damage on me. I think I can make a new one, but I want to look. To yeah, because it, it should be in here. Yeah, I've still got the Cyclops energy thing. Thing is, I don't even know what it looks like, because it, it just has a little, this is a representation of this item in your inventory. Well, it wouldn't be a Death Heaven Let's Play. Uh, my save is from a very long time ago. See if maybe it landed down here. There's another moon pool fragment. Another radio transmission. Yeah, I think we just have to see if we can make one. Piss a brick. Let's see how impossible that is. Oh, I know what the problem with that is. I know what the problem with that is. I don't have the ability to make vehicle upgrades. I can make Cyclops upgrades because the Cyclops has its own thing. You need a vehicle upgrade machine, and we haven't found that yet. So, let's see though. Vehicles, prawn suit. Well, and a another problem is if you're too far away from things, then the terrain doesn't load in properly. So if I was too close to the surface, it could be in the center of the Earth. I wonder if I could just spawn one. Oh, I guess I hit that. I'll do another pass real quick just to be on the safe side. Just to be thorough. Is that it? No, that's a piece of dirt. Oh, I'm so butthurt.
Okay, we figured it out. Well, Shaman helped. Also, pay no attention to the sea moth next to me that totally doesn't exist. We're having issues with the spawn command. And I won't get achievements anymore, but I don't care. Okay. Left click equip. Wonderful. Now we can go down to 300 meters. And, uh, yeah. The other one's just lost to the ages. Such as it is. Well, sometimes you guys don't even get the pop ups for achievements. It's tragic. Oh, and I don't care. This is a casual playthrough. Um, yeah, now I can go deep enough to find the other one. <laughs> Fuck. Um, well, from what I know about the vehicle upgrade module is is the parts for it are deep. So not something we would easily be able to find. I mean, we could build the prawn suit, but... From what I understand, that is a very slow, clunky way to move around. I've actually never done anything with prawn suit. We might have to play with that. But we'll need to get some stuff that we need to go deep for to build it. Haha! -ha. That's that's our life now. We need to go deeper. Okay. To the moon bed. Noon moon pod. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, all my things are screwed up. Mm -hmm. God, suddenly I forgot how to use all the buttons. Yay. Well, I mean, I noticed it fairly quick. I noticed when my thing started crushing itself. Huh. This poster seems busted. That's neat. Okay. Oh, this is full. I don't have any quartz. Now let's find some quartz real quick. Real quick. We'll see. Check out a cave. Hi, Crassfish. You fuck. Bastard. Did it again. For some reason, I really want to right-click on things to use them. Let's go check the radio, too, while the thing charges. <clears throat> it is handy that it charges while you're faffing about. This is Life Pod 7. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. 7 out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Mm 
Huh? No, they're... they're... well, everyone we found so far has been really, really dead. Uh, that all looks fine. I need my Hab Builder, which is over the moon pod. This is all fine. This is my only radio. <clears throat> my only message, rather. There's my habitat builder. Hmm? Oh. Creature decoys. Oh, you get five of them. Three titanium and two silver. That's not a bad deal. Power cell. Carry that with us just in case while exploring with the sea moth we get into the troubles. Keep those with us. Uh, let's see. Locker. Damn it. Hey, more lockers. Some don't I? Okay, uh, let's see. This little thing is great. plant that. Oh, shit. Can't even drop it. Oh, there we go. Well, piss. Well, we can always go back to that island. Sure, they will grow more at some point. Okay. Got a rebreather. What else do we need? Got enough lithium. We got enough diamonds. We need another gel sack and a couple rubies to make the arrow stuff we need. Might as well throw these away. Bye, fruit. I mean, I guess I could make a bioreactor. Build a base at some point. I think I want to build a base near one of the mushroom forests. Okay, so those batteries aren't great. I should have another low charge one. Fine, let's head to the Cyclops. And we'll go stow all this stuff on there so that at some point, when we decide, oh, we will have a pretty good supply of survival materials on there. <laughs> to the Scooty Puff! Oh, we need to remove that one. Oh, yeah, remove that one. Yep, there we go. So if we head roughly directly to the Cyclops too, we'll pass by that wreck. I want to say it was in the kelp forest. 
we'll go check out some of these life pod signals now that we can go a little deeper. Should be fairly safe to do so. Should be nearby. That looks like it. I saw a door. There it is. Now our air should last longer with our rebreather, since I'm not going to worry about radiation, since we won't be going back to the ship for a while. You, Oh, stasis rifle stuff. Grab trap stuff. More stasis rifle stuff. Oh, so you can get it here, too. That's a lucky wreck. Oh, it's a Degrassi crew manifest. Bart. Beneficiary of enhanced learning tech data. Emissary Kessar reports Bart was accompanying his father to newly constructed deep space station where he was to serve five-year term as chief operating officer. Huh. Pacifism gun? I don't know what you mean. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, that looked like a... Mod, mod module thingy. Uh, we can build a, a stasis gun. We need something I don't have. Uh, I think magnetite? But we can get it now. Oh, you don't get the... You get the, you get the timeout gun. That's about it. Well, guns aren't seen as necessary for survival, quote, quote. That's a big arch. Very deep, though. This. Is this just more kelp forest, or I see what biome this is. There's a box. What is it? Mobile vehicle bay. Oh, we already have that. Something I, don't know. I was thinking it was the vehicle upgrade thing. I'm a bobber. So what's over here? That looks like part of a sea moth. It might be... Oh, it's a nuclear reactor fragment. Well, there is a stronger knife. And there's an alien rifle that we looked at. And we said, yep, that's an alien rifle. I would like to have that. And it said, nope. We just wanted to tease you. We just wanted to give you the blue balls. It is empty, right? More radio stuff. And this goes to the mushroom forest. And boomerangs are crashing into me. Oh, Christ! Nope! <laughs> I was just like, oh, that's a big tail. <laughs> Let's go the other way. Uh, unhappy. Eat 
Eat a dick, shaman. I'll put up with your nonsense. Now we got a submarine. <laughs> I figured there'd be one of them out here by the big space cannon thing. Excuse me. Dumb varmints. Hey, that's a time capsule. Oh, shit. For you with love. Stayed here a very long time alone. It was excruciating. My gift will help you survive. You'll not be alone. Take care of her and do not forget to play with it. A creature egg and a thermoblade. What else did we get? Anything else? Nothing duplicated. Ah, no. God damn it. There we go. So here's a neat thing you can do. Where'd he go? Well, that's not right. Damn it. I can't see. Otherwise, I would do it. Basically, if I hit fishies, they get cooked. Hi, Scooty Puff. Ah, we'll just keep the other one. Fuck it. Uh, and I'll... Keep my radiation helmet here. Should be fine. Uh, oh, and I need to have a module. <laughs> eh. Eh. Had a Fallout 3 moment. That's the Cyclops Fabricator. Where's the... the actual modules go? Ah, here we go. Cool. 1149. Has it gone down? I know the lights don't matter. 86. Yeah, that sounds right. Okay, silent running is off. Rig for silent run. No, don't do that. Engines are off. Okay, spotlights are off. Yeah, spotlights are off. Eh, everything seems fine. Okay. Meanwhile, at the Reaper Leviathan. Okay. That's not right. Oh. I was gonna say, we don't need to eat. We can just come up here and beat up a tree. this up, huh? Um, it's like a cactus. It's it's a juicy, sustaining kind of wood. 
Okay, so we did that one, we did that one, we did that one. We need second officer Keen's last location, and we have sunk to the ocean bed. That. Uh huh. Oh, LifePod 7 transmission origin. Distress signal has been received from LifePod 7, but the attached coordinates were corrupted. Last analyzed photographic data has been downloaded and analyzed. Crew for problems with their on bed fabricator. Sunk to 200 meters in an area of low ecological activity. Approximately 1,000 southwest of the Aurora Stern section. Okay. That's. What's the stern? Stern is the ass, yeah? Well, let's go take a look. Wait. Stern the front? Yeah. Ooh. But the front is where the Reaper Leviathan is. <laughs> I don't know if I want to go there. I suppose we could save. We could save. Southwest of the Aurora... St oh, st wait. Where is it, anyway? Okay. So that would be the stern. So it's pretty much straight east. Southwest would be roughly this way. God damn it, Shaman. What does that even mean? So it'll be southwest from the front of the ship. Near Wales, we must be near a field. Yep, there's field. Ah, a big fuck off cave. Oh, and a big wreck we haven't explored. Hell yeah. All kinds of goodies here. Well, those are empty. But I might know what's inside here. I think I've found this before. <laughs> You're not a dumb, Shaman. Who the hell knows nautical? physical relations anymore in 2020. I mean, come on. Come on, people. ¿Qué es esto? <gasps> no, I don't need that. This is something I already have. But, you know what? I'll take the free titanium. Why not? Oh, stern is the back of the ship? Eh, either way, we'll figure it out. Oh, so aft is a direction, not a location. I see what you're saying. Well, see, I thought it was prow or bow or something. I know starboard and port. 
That's what I know. Battery charger fragment. That's a good one. We definitely want that. What is it? Water. Laser cutter fragment, sure. Ooh, a thing. Lightweight high capacity tank. Should be another battery charger in here. Several battery chargers in here. Seconds. Yeah, yeah, I'll get right on it. Swim to the surface. The surface is for peasants. I've got a scooty puff. Something? I swear to god, these fish keep bumping into me. Propulsion cannon pieces. More battery charger fragments. We can open. Right, this is a good wreck. We now have a battery charger. Well, we can make one. Hi, whale. Might be some more wreck around here, too. Quartz. Fire reactor fragment. Oh, that's just going to be more titanium then. Oh, it's a biter. Well, come here, shithead. I got something for your ass. No, 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 I'm I'm a prey animal. D can't you tell? Yeah, fuck. That's immensely satisfying. Is that an egg? It is an egg. <gasps> I bet that's a sand shark egg. Like that? How big is it? Ah, that's too big. Yeah, but that one's too big to actually put in my inventory and eat, sadly. Bitch! Alright. You successfully instigated your own mugging. I like this thing. Find a time capsule, people. It'll make your day. It'll just make your day. This. That looks like sea moth, yeah. More sea moth. See, it's important to find your fields, because your your field wrecks will have your sea moth in it. And it'll have scanner room stuff. <laughs> Bitch! There are entirely too many biters out here today. have a vending machine, bioreactor, we got all those. Scrap metal, bioreactor, salt, show this off. Come here, you, you delicate little morsel. Pick up cooked boomerang, which means you get water too, which is great. You can just eat the sons of bitches. Arr, revenge! Vengeance! Fucker. Didn't want me to go around murdering their environment, did they? Well, <laughs> they should have thought that up. Oh shit, where's my boat? Where's my boat? Team off. Oh, there it is. Uh, for some reason, I was thinking that was a submarine. better run. You settle down, Shaman. Welcome aboard, Captain. 
Okay. Sandstone. Well, we were going southwest, yeah. Make sure the ship is still roughly behind us. Yes. Whoa. This does look different. This does look different. What picture are we looking for? Bunch of rocks pointing upwards. What the hell is this? Ah! Can I kill it? No, I can harvest it, and that's not helping. Let's leave that alone. Still shooting at me? Oh. Wanted to scan that eye stalk. That's too much to ask. Oh shit! That's not what I meant to do. Get back in the thing! Um, I might be able to scan that one. I stalk. Uh, uh, okay. putter putt in this area and see what we can find because that's the grassy field right there we in trouble we can bail that way there's a cave nearby too or this area counts as a cavern that's what those things are they like caves well I bet it's down there somewhere does it say how deep it was? No. 200 meters. Oh shit. And then it was nighttime. <laughs> In a new horrifying biome. Oh yeah, we can save though. Well, a new biome means new resources. There's nothing to be afraid of. Limestone. I think we've scanned that before. It's very pretty though. Yeah, well, we haven't. Violet bow. I think it's just a pretty thing. Yeah. That just sounds like whale. Maybe. If we hang out in these little trenches, nothing big can get us. Salt? No, that's not even salt. Well, any opinion on this terrain, computer? All well, fishies to eat. Oh Christ, what was that? dark down here. <laughs> Whoa!
little bit of water. Oh, I have some water here, actually. Okay, okay. Fix the... Fix the boat. I don't want something to viciously numb us while we're down here. So, 200 meters. I think I just hit the rock. We're okay. Should be down here. 200 meter range. Easier if there was any light at all. I just have to putter around until daytime. I'm really seeing resources. I'm seeing limestone, but whatever. Some shale. There's one of those things. Very luminescent down here. Oh shit! My bad. My bad. Never mind. Didn't want to go that way anyway. Anchor pod, huh? Uh huh. See a ruby. Music's getting tense. I like that. Makes me unhappy. Got another ruby? And uh, just a messed up rock. Just a messed up rock. Ruby? I think there's one over there, actually. No, just more messed up rocks. Water fish. I mean, I can't drain the water out of them while I'm underwater. Uh. Okay, back this way. Came from this way, where all the spiky things were. Need a chronometer so I can see what damn time it is. Egg. How many of those I'm going to need? Oh, another alien vent. 
event. Wrong trench. Well, we got enough stuff to make our arrow gel, I think. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Captain. We need some magnetite. I know where that is, though. To find this life pod, hopefully. Just dark out or something? No, I think it is just that dark down there. Unfortunate. Ah, it's okay, I know what they look like. Okay, I feel slightly less dark down here now. Head for more spiky things. Those water currents scare the ever-loving bejesus out of me. Because they sure look like... a varmint. From far enough away. One of them big fuck-off varmints. Another cave. Same cave, probably. What's that? wreck of some sort. Who are you? Prawn suit torpedo arm fragment. Sure! That sounds good. Most necessary. <laughs> hey, is this... This is a different one, isn't it? Yeah, we're looking for Life Pod 7. This is Life Pod 19. Whatever. data pad. Oh, there it is. Signal location <clears throat> to PDA. To all crew, if you're reading this, you followed the automatic distress signal broadcast by this life pad's onboard computer contract. Oh, this is Officer Keen. This is one of the things that we were going to find anyway. <clears throat> Disregard my safety and attempt to reach the designated rendezvous coordinates of the nearest landmass. Hope to see you there. And I think that will take us back to the island we were on that has that thing I need to scan. <laughs> Oh, there's something. So, wrong life pod, and one that I actually had a waypoint for, but... Ultra high capacity tank. That sounds sexy. Ooh, another time capsule. Goodbye, planet. The planet may seem like hell, but in reality it was quite beautiful. Yeah, 90% of the things want to eat your face, but it has so much beauty, history, and was home to me for quite some time. While I must leave to go home now, I leave a few things for you. Also some mementos of my people and a fully functional base. May new need reactor mods when you find it. I don't think that's how that works. We got a toy, an Aurora miniature, an Aurora poster, and a Keep Calm poster. Nice. So, just some mementos, but still. Nice. Um, Scooty? Scooty, Scooty. There you go. Oh, problem. Hmm. 
No, we've still got plenty of charge. <clears throat> that guy's having a great time. Ooey, ooey. He's just spinning. Okay. I wonder if those make clicky noises or if that's something else. down there? Not. Okay, we've been here before. This is the really scary looking place. Yeah, we need to go deeper for that. I'm curious. Look at that. That's a hell of a thing. Blighter. Okay. Oh, fuck you. Oh, no. Boy, everything is horrible down here. Ghostweed. Okay, you need to die. Time to get the hell out of here. something? No. That is not a thing. Hey, it's bright up here now. Look at all this shit. Plant fragment. I already got that. Torpedo arm? Uh, no, there is an actual escape pod where we're trying to go. This is just wrecked part of the ship. Oh, I got that. I think I got that. We'll double check. This is a good find, though, nonetheless. Yeah, because we would be able to see spiky doos. Although it is the right color. Okay, so there's a door we need to cut through. Uh, it's probably just decoy launchers. Remember, they don't want you to have weapons, because that would be, f you know, it would be the wrong kind of fun. Can't have that now. Don't want to be having fun the wrong way. Inventory full. Eh, too much titanium. Also, to hell with these. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's actually a good name for a sea moth. If you could name it the surface. The way when it says swim towards the surface. Okay, let's eat a bunch of these to It's not a lot of water, but they're slow and easy to catch. I can't open that. Biodiversity in this region is unusually low. Cause unknown. Okay. Let's head up to that other wreck. Well, that's something. Oh, just more thermal plant. That's fine. That's a box. What are you? Vehicle upgrade console. Oh shit. Wait, so is that just the whole blueprint? I also need the modification station. What? Something's booping me. Is it just the spade fish? I guess the spade fish. They're slightly bigger than other fish. So it's making a boop instead of a piff. Prawn suit depth module. That's cool. Oh, sweet. Seamoth depth module 2 and 3. We can probably make that. Shit, we can definitely make that. Wow, look at all this shit. Seamoth solar charger. Make that. Gas torpedo. Cloud of toxic gas. Local gravity distortion. That's fun. Jet jumps. Seamoth sonar. Oh, that's cool. Seamoth torpedo system. Seamoth perimeter defense system. That's all very cool. So how do I build the thing to begin with? There's a thermal plant. Vehicle upgrade console. Titanium computer chip copper wire. That's super cheap. Well, that's not what I was looking for out here, but it's pretty great. We didn't even go inside the wreck yet. Ow, oh, shit. What are you? Moon pool fragments. Moon pool fragments. I need nighttime again soon. Okay, where'd that other wreck go? Oh, I can get inside this one. Just had to shine my light the right way. Hey, water! Well, that's convenient. And a fish. A fish. I've scanned you, yes? Okay. Not all the Oh, there's a door. Um, five. I don't have enough power for this. Mm, yeah, it doesn't look like it. Another one. Reinforced dive suit. Sexy. Sign me up. Tell me all about it. This is great. I'm gonna save just in case something stupid happens. Like I throw something very important on the ground. Okay, where'd that other part of the... There it is. 
I think that's the other part I wanted to look at. Yep, there it is. So we lucked into a thermal knife, now we need just a modification thing. Please? Cyclops Fire Suppression System. That's probably good. This is just junk you can use to decorate with. I found some somewhere else. So I might have found this wreck before. That one seems familiar. Cheese it back to base, or do we keep looking for our life pod? Is that chasm we were already in? Oh yeah, we have water. We have space again, since I threw all that damn titanium away, and those plants. So I can pick up some minerals. I can find something useful. Sorry, what? set up real quick. <laughs> that set up just a real quick. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, they are the spade fish that are doing that. Those fuckers are too big. That looks interesting. Oh, it's just table coral. Yep, I'm gonna need some of that. Computer chips. There's something, or is that the same something? This looks like the same something, I think. Yeah, we found this already. Well, well, no, yep, that's that. Okay. That's the problem with nighttime. <laughs> You swim around in circles like an asshole. I need to do a more precise search. We also might be too far away or not far enough away. Like in a southwesterly uh, direction. Yeah, because that's back to that area. Let's head back to base and build some of these nifty upgrades. Well, we'll find what we need to build some of these nifty upgrades.
Count down here just in case we pass something neat. Is that that again? Yeah, it's just that again. That whole swimming around in circles thing. This is a cool area, though. Directly southwest of our pod. Well, never lost as long as we have our waypoints, Shaman. I think I am. Uh, well, it stays there. I, uh, that's what you mean. Okay, yeah, that was that. Cave! This area is very cool. Also lava and crab worms. Oh no, they don't. I don't know if they used to do that, but they don't anymore. Somewhere in the region. Neat. These are the jelly shroom caves. Because of course they are. Nah, temperature's fine. There's a lot of shale in here. That's not how that's supposed to work. They're more ter they're predators, but they're more territorial than predator. Back to the surface, that's just back to the surface. Hmm, I don't want that or that. Okay. Well, they're designed for the vacuum of space. So I'm sure extreme temperatures aren't too big a deal. As long as you just stay inside the sun bitch. Looks like part of what I'm looking for. That's a man-made structure down here. Would you look at that? And a band-aid. Something got nommed. Oh god, hi, how you doing? Wanna, do you want to be on, on... Oh, God. Oh, God. It's... Okay, so you can only scan their head. Well, fuck him, then. Hey, Band-Aids! Someone mentioned we had found some of those. Welcome aboard, Captain. That was probably closer than it should have been. Let's not bother this nice man anymore.
need to find more of those structures. Nice try. We do not have a metal detector. Well, that'd be too easy. Be nice if I had a, uh... Actually, what would be super cool would be a, uh... Scan attachment for my Seamoth. That'd be kicking rad. See, they live in the butthole mushrooms. Because they like it there. Ooh, I think that's what I'm looking for. That is almost certainly what I'm looking for. That is even more so what I'm looking for. And so is that. We need two more of those, though. That's going to be difficult. What the hell? Oh, cave bush. Oh, just a biter. Just a biter. Fuck him. He don't matter. Stasis rifle fragments. Yes, there is. Well, like I said, we're small. They're more, uh, they're more territorial than anything. As long as we don't go sticking our nose in his hole. As long as we don't try goosing him, he should leave us alone. Is that my way in? Fucker! Maybe he was trying to get the biter. Better not be eating my, uh... Hey, these guys. In our world, money makes the hierarchy. I pay Maida a fraction of what oh, I pay shit. you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy, why is Margarita making the decision? We need her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. What if she doesn't? For enough money, she will. People always do. Okay, so watch out for the stinger thing. Integrating. I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish, but I stare out the window and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life's toxic. I learned that the hard way. But I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but there's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says understanding is power. Oh, that the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not easy without proper equipment and network access, but the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Coevolution gives me the fuzzies. <laughs> 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 
blueprint acquired. I did? What did I even get? Integrating new PDA data. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to do this. Uh, what was it? Bart's log. Stalker teeth. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering. But oh. I didn't have enough enameled glass. So, okay. I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have. And those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Okay. Hey, Marzies. Well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. Said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest, armed with just a heat blade, and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. What's the point in surviving here? If we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful. Ah, there's the... There's the way you don't get to have guns. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. Oh, nothing there. I want my other modification station. You bastards. How dare you tease me with two out of three. Is that the one I already found, or is that a different one? I think that's the one I already found. Yeah, I already found that. Okay, well that means we're close to the entrance, though. That's good. Well, there's another thing. Piff. <laughs> oh, more boxes that can't be opened. Oh, and a PDA, though. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Uh, what? Integrating new PDA. Oh. Their proposed habitat. I think that was that place we just looted. Because they were going to live down here. But, I guess crab snakes? <laughs> Probably crab snakes. There can be magnetite down here. In fact, that's what that is. Nice. We need a couple more, though. You settle down. You and your nonsense, shaman. Nah, I'm almost certain it's just that place we just were at. But, if I can find some magnetite while we're going, that would be worth doing. Playing games like this, you do get really good at seeing tiny, far-off things. Oh, I think I needed this for a stasis rifle, that's right. We got a lot of things we'll need to build. Eh, might as well while I'm here. Right. Getting 
Yeah, I say getting too close to the holes. That is the same one, yeah? Yeah, that's the same one. Okay, cool. You're up earlier than I thought you'd be, Marzi. Looked like you stayed up all day. Problem with these damn undersea caves is finding the way out. With the sea glide, it kind of helps because you can get a topographical map. I gotta keep an eye on the ceiling. Oh, well that's fair, I guess. Always have trouble keeping track of your time when the uh, daylight savings is over. This looks promising. Oh. It's been a good night. Aside from having to hack cheat just a little bit. <coughs> when I dropped my cereal box of power that I spent a while getting. And accidentally threw it away. Fortunately, Shaman said something, so I noticed. He's like, oh, I hope that wasn't important. I was like, what? I was like, wait a second. <laughs> I don't have the capability on my device that I should have. That's irksome. This looks good. <laughs> we dropped a very difficult to replace MacGuffin. But, it turns out, we would have found our vehicle upgrade console anyway. Oh yeah, so we need to go build that. And what do we need for... Well, we'll need depth two. Can't build the perimeter defense system. Solar charger's not a bad idea. Storage module would be good too. Engine efficiency, nope, can't build that. All reinforcement would certainly be good. Eliminated damage under normal... yeah. Cool. Didn't mind sonar either. Can I have depth module too? Yes, I can. Oh yeah, yeah, that's fairly easy to make actually. Need magnetite for most of these. And then more plasteel and rubies. We could get our depth module all the way up to three. Oh, except I need the modification station for this. You can't do this with the vehicle upgrade station, because get fucked. No, not quite that bad. Things are giving me hugs. Anyway, I think it is a head back to base and call it a night kind of night time, though. <sighs> we got the big AFC semifinals tomorrow. Where we try to get to the championship game, and then from there to the Super Bowl, and hopefully we lose one of them. Yeah, sure. Hey, gamer. I'm pretty sure the Seahawks aren't in the playoffs, Shaman. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. These frickin' batteries. Wait, didn't one of those have zero charge? Okay, it's that, that. There's one with zero. Because now we can also build battery chargers, too, so we definitely want to do that. Titanium. We got our rubies. Don't need the power sulfur right now. Don't need the table coral. Oh, we got posters. He can have a friend. Oh, what are you doing? 
Seek fluid intake. Yeah, I'm working on it. There we go. Yay, toys. Okay, what's in here? Anything? No, nothing in there. Um, that's my aerogel. I need that for something. There's some ladder fish around we can eat real quick. There's one. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> There's some. Oh yeah, we got a radio message too, didn't we? Saw another one. Death Heaven, on the hunt. DJ Doug Pound, in the mix. Oh yeah, we're good. That should give us a hundred water. Yeah? Yeah. It's alright. Hello! Hey! Can't send a ship all the way out there, so Aurora Aww. is gonna have to meet us halfway. Uploaded blueprints to the ship's computer. Uh, yeah, give me a second. Black box data shows the high security terminal in the captain's quarters is still functional. Becky's leaving like in five minutes. All right, tell Becky I'll just take the the regular. Regular? Yeah, she'll know what I mean. The code should Maybe be. She doesn't. Just tell her the regular, dude. Okay. The if code. I say regular, and she's like, "What's the regular?" I the code should be 2679. The regular is just a ham and cheese. Okay, would you just say ham and cheese? Ham and cheese. Okay. <laughs> Vital signs stabilizing. Oh, that's very silly. Papers. Damn it. There you. I know, just trust Becky. Oh shit! Hey! You leave that graceful giant alone, you shit. That appears to be dead. Well, that's nifty. Original Mortal Kombat's amazing, what are you talking about? Hey guys, I have a job for you. Yay! <laughs> They're floaters. I'm not... I'm not sure where your mystery is. <laughs> they float things. <laughs> nah, they're just little gas bags. They don't do anything. They just exist. I saved you! How you doing? Oh no, it pooped! Run away. Although we do need their poop to make uh, the toxic gas round things. Ah, it's nice to be back in the safe shallows. Very, very calming. So we got the captain's log in for his door. Aw, an old peeper. Aw, they're kind of sad when their eyes are shut. Oh, man. I'll have to make a... I'll have to do the, uh... <laughs> He's still over there. <laughs> Hang on, where's my...
There we go. <laughs> ah, memories. Well, we don't need to make any more batteries, that's for damn sure. Oh, that's just you again. Stop that. You're gross. Nobody loves you. Uh, let me see if I have anything else in here that I want to bring to my other, to my moon pool. I got my stalker teeth, yeah. Yeah, I think I have all my, oh, take these. Huh? No, he's dead. He is dead and floating to the surface, where he will be ignored by the birds because they're not scavengers. Build something real quick. I know I needed a copper wire. Um, damn it. There we go. No, that's not the right thing. Oh, there you go. Well, that, that's a thought. Okay. Um, vehicle bay thing. Wait. Can I build it with this? There it is. Oh, I need a computer chip. Um, what am I missing for a computer chip? Gold. Well, oh no! Wouldn't want to not have enough gold for something. built copper wire. Did I not build copper wire? Oh, I needed that. I had to use it for the... Ah, I had to use it for the computer chip. Well, now I don't have any copper, and that means it's going to wait till next time, so the hell with it. I need that. That would, water filtration machine might be interesting. Turn seawater into water and salt. Uh, we don't know how to make an alien containment. And there's our multi-purpose room. And scanner rooms and stuff. Yeah, maybe we'll make another room or two in here. So we're not constantly falling in the water. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you all next time.